Hey everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, this is something a little bit new. I'm doing something called List It or Lot It. Um, I just moved into a new house and so I'm really trying to sort out my jewelry because I have got a really limited amount of time to do listings and pictures and things like that. So I'm going through what I've got and I'm going to be sharing um, what it is and then my thought process about whether I'm going to list it by itself, um, put it in a lot or put it um, in like, um, I do mystery lots. So whether it be like a craft lot or if it would go into a mystery lot. So my criteria for this is if it's something that I would list, it's something that maybe is really cool, qual good quality or something I just pers personally really like, uh, something that I think would get a good profit by itself. Things that would go into like a craft lot would be things maybe that are broken, missing stones, um, things that I know maybe could be fixed, but I don't have the time to fix it, uh, so I don't do that. And then the other um, criteria would be like a mystery lot. I do mystery lots on my Etsy store, and that is, um, that would be things that I think it would sell, but, and it's cool, but maybe I, I don't have the time for it, or it's like not gonna be something I know I'm gonna list really soon. So it would go into that lot. So I'm gonna show you what I've got. And my criteria and what I choose for, it might be different than what you guys would choose uh, because I know everybody's different. So that's what makes the mystery lot so much fun, I guess. But I am live, so hi everybody. Thanks for coming to hang out. Um, let me say hey real quick in the chat because I like to say hey to my friends. Hi Debbie, hello Elliot and Tina, hello <laughs> again. Hi Amy and Zakia, I hope I said your name right. Hi. John and Sandy IK, hello. Hi, Chrissy and Lena and Casey Kara. And oh, I got some new faces here, Nawal and Anita. Thanks so much for coming to hang out. So what I did, um, if you saw the video the other day, I kind of showed where I've got all my jewelry over here where I've got things sorted out. So listed stuff is up here. And then down here is a lot of my unlisted stuff. Um, and it's not really sorted out very well. So I just kind of grabbed a box. Um, I know we won't get through all of this, but I thought I could just grab it and show you what, what I've got in there and kind of which tub it's going in. I've got three tubs over here to start sorting things into. Um, and let me know what you think in the chat if you just if you're like no you could sell that by itself or oh no that's garbage put it in the lot okay so the first thing i'm pulling out um is a ring i got for two bucks so it's this ring now this is one of those rings that i've talked about before where hang on it's got tape i'm peeling it off where i will i will probably try to sell this by itself um oh thanks uh, elliot um this ring while you can see on the back where the um, some of the silver has rubbed off on it. I think that it is cool enough that it would sell anyway. It's kind of got that cigar band look, if you know what I'm talking about, um, with cigar band rings that have that kind of like big, they look like those old cigar bands, right? Um, so I would probably still try to sell this by itself. It's not missing any stones. It's It's in pretty good shape except for the rubbing of the like silver tone off on the back. Um, and I, I, I have sold rings that have had that kind of messed up um, on the, I need, need to find the right word for it, not messed up, but where it's rubbed off. And I've still sold some for pretty good profit. So I haven't done any research on this yet. So I'm guessing I could probably try to sell this for around 20 bucks for sure. So that is going in my, I will list it <laughs> pile. Okay, so next, <laughs> I'm just grabbing. So it'll be random. Oh, hey, hey, Linda, nice to see you. Uh, I would like a lot of mall brand jewelry. Oh, okay. I have got a lot of, I have a bag, I have a bag of Charming Charlie jewelry that I bought on clearance, probably not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before, because it was so cheap, and it is still sitting in that bag, because I thought the same thing. I was like, this is really cute, this would sell, and I'm getting it for super cheap. Yep. All right, so next up, this is a Julius, um, I think it's, this is Paul Frank, right? There is a following for Paul Frank. Here's my thought process on this. While I could list this, I probably won't. Sorry, my merch friends. I'm trying to get the band back together, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I, I I need a maybe pile. Because first, I 
I don't know that I would put it in a craft lot, um, but if I, I wouldn't put it in a mystery lot box either, right? So if somebody were ordering a mystery box from me and they got this in it, they might not be too happy is what I'm thinking. So this would either go, now that I've ruled that out, um, this would either go into my, I'm gonna list it, or a craft lot. The only problem is I don't know I don't know what the market is for it. It could be really good or it could be junk. I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'm going to, okay, I need a maybe pile. Okay, I'm setting it here for my maybe pile. Maybe we'll look it up in a second and I'll figure it out. But because I know there are some things like that that have a following, but some friends would not be happy getting that. Okay, so next up, there's this bracelet. Teens, yes. Or people buying back their teenage years, right? <laughs> um. No, I made nothing. I don't know. So this is a bracelet that was in a jewelry lot that I got. And it's pretty cool. I mean, but as you can see, the the stretch is gone. The pieces are awesome. So my friends like, you know, Cindy could probably restring this and sell it because it's really cool. It's not missing stones or anything. So I would not put this in a mystery lot because it's of the condition it's in. Um, so this will go into my craft lot pile. So the next time I make up a craft lot to sell on eBay or Etsy, um, that'll be my bin that I draw from for my craft lots. So tell me if I'm going along and you're like, that's a bad idea. You should. Now I already can tell you, unless it's something super duper easy, I'm not gonna fix it. Okay, I'm pulling out some stuff. And again, this is just a random box of stuff that I've got here. Tangles. Okay. Then I have got this necklace, which I already can tell you. I know what I'm going to do with. So this necklace, I think I got it at a garage sale or I'm not sure. It's in the box. Um, so this one has got this really cool Art Nouveau with this drop pearl. Do jewelry craft lots sell pretty good for you on eBay? I have sold a couple. I won't say they sold for a ton of money, but it was junk. I mean, so for me, I was like, this junk just sold for 16 bucks. I'm happy, right? Because it was like, it was like the bottom of the bag as far as like jewelry jars and just broken bits of stuff. I'll have to, I'll see if I can pull it up and show you because it was not, it was not amazing. So this, um, and as you can see, she's got some wear and some damage and like some scuffing on her finish, but I still think she's awesome enough to sell. So she is definitely going in my, I'm going to sell her pile. Somebody's going to fall in love with her face. I just know it. And she's got a little mark on the back too. I'll have to look and see what that is. But I mean, honestly, even with the damage and everything, my guess, again, I haven't done any research is I'll probably put this around 30 bucks just because she's got that Art Nouveau look, which is awesome. Let me uh, let me go ahead and pull that up since we're, since this is what we're doing, right? We're talking about, okay, I'm gonna open a window. Let me look on eBay real quick for Julius bracelet. And I'm gonna show you my craft lot that I sold so I can tell you exactly what was in it and what was the um, price it went for. So what was his name? Julius, uh, and he's Paul Frank, right? Paul. Paul Frank Julius bracelet. Hang on. He would have to go for at least $15, I think. Normally, my, my lowest price to sell something would be about eight or 10 bucks. Um, here we go. Me. It's so, yes, I know. And that's the thing. I know it's super easy to fix that elastic, but oh, I know I'll never get around to it. So here's one. This is not a sold, but it's up for sale. Oh, this was a Happy Meal toy. I had no idea. Wow. Good to know. All right, so that bracelet is a Happy Meal toy. Oh, look, here's some still in the container for like four or five bucks. Uh, let's look at sold items real quick. Uh, well, I'm not seeing it very recently on sold, but I am not super impressed with the prices I'm seeing. So for that, for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the craft lot. So not in the mystery lot, craft lot. Craft lot, there it goes. Um, I have a bunch of vintage items. 
uh, try it on Poshmark. Oh, okay. See, and that's the thing too. I haven't really started that Poshmark yet. So that might be something I may have to re dig out of that pile. I need to move out. Uh, I don't do a lot of auctions um, because I just don't, I don't, I haven't been very successful with them. Um, oh, we haven't, yeah, we're just here for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Let me show you, um, Tam, let me pull it up Etsy. Um, cause I, I've list, I listed on eBay and Etsy and while I think I, it's sold on eBay, um, I had it on Etsy so I can still pull it up or er, hang on. I'm pulling up this thing. Of course I probably could have done this beforehand, but I didn't know. So solds i'm looking at my shop i'm looking at listings i'm looking at solds and i want to search for lots yeah I, I i laid out everything um to answer that question i did lay it all out to show pictures of it all i think there was maybe one lot that i just showed the bag and sold out here we go let me pull these up these ones actually sold on Etsy so because it's showing sold out so I it would help if I actually shared the screen shared with you huh okay so this is one of the lots oh this is showing you this hang on let me show it to you this way so this is a mixed costume jewelry lot that's sold for 25 bucks this is in my <clears throat> my Etsy store and it was just like this is these are the pictures I shared so I mean some of it was wearable, some of it was broken, some of it was just like, man, I'm never gonna go around to it. Then this is another one that sold, and this was a lot um, that sold. So it's like mixed necklaces. So this is one that like things in here could have sold on their own. And I tried to lot up like natural stuff, like wood, shell, things like that. Um, for the most part, this is my one of my junk drawer ones that I did on Etsy. And this one sold for $19.99. Again, still some sellable pieces in there, but some of them were just like weird. I didn't even like, you know how I love these fishing wire ones? Not really. Um, you know, plastic beads. There was some cool stuff, some weird, like, why were these fabric wrapped beads? I don't know. Anyway, so there was that one. That one sold for $19.99. And then there was another one that's the really big junk drawer, or not really big, but really junky. So this is another one. Okay, so it must be in my inactive listings. Hang on, because it's sold on, if it's, so here we go. This is the one it's sold on eBay. So this was $7.99. <laughs> but y'all, it was junk. I'm telling you, like, kiss me on my Irish button and like little broken, what is this? It's a belt buckle and um, yeah, just random stuff like plastic rings with missing beads and somebody's homemade off this was like a domino right a dirty i don't know just stuff so yeah this but i mean to me i was like i'm getting eight bucks for this okay i'll do it <laughs> so there was that okay so let's jump back into what are we going to do with this stuff so that's that's how i take the pictures for it um I've, I've been getting some props to try to make my lot pictures look more interesting. So we'll see how that works. All right. So this is an, another brace or either necklace that I got, which I will try to sell because I like the leaves and I like the mixed metal because some people really like the mixed metal stuff. So this will go into my I will sell it pile. Next up, I've got some earrings. Oh, you know what I don't have? Oh, yes, I do. These are really cool. Okay, so these are big heart earrings. This is like, this is where I'm getting to, will I list it or will it sit forever? See, they're not sterling silver. They're cool. I think they'll sell. I think this will go into like my, one of my mystery lot things. So that'll go in my mystery lots. I think they would sell. I think they're cool enough to sell. But yeah, mystery lot it is. Okay. Hmm. Okay, here's the next thing. <laughs> um, hi. Yes. Okay. See you later. So here we go. Hey, Picky Chick. <clears throat> um, this is a really cool ring that I'm going to break my own rule on. Well, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so it's got this really cool on the floor look because now it's on the floor where I can't reach it. 
I'm grabbing it with my toe. Hang on. Come here. Got it. Nope. I thought I, I almost had it. Hang on. So it's um got really cool geometric, you know, like shapes, which is cool. Now it's got my toe on it. All right, my feet are clean. My feet are clean. <laughs> they are. Um, so this is really cool, right? The thing is, on this one, it is like scuffed up on the back. Why is it okay for me on the other one, but not on this one? I don't know. Hmm. How's the front looking? The front, it looks okay. Ah, oh, gosh. See, my problem is I wouldn't put this in a mystery lot because somebody who got it from a mystery lot be like, oh, it's all scratched up, you know? Um, you think it would sell? I think it might sell too. Okay, so this will go, I'd have to get some good pictures of it, right? I need to get something with contrast, like my skin, only not my skin, because I have freckles, and that always looks weird. Anyway, okay, so this will go in, I'll try to sell it. I don't know how much it would go for, so maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 bucks, maybe more. I'll have to look and see. Um, How much is it to sell on eBay? It depends. They've got all these weird fees, like, and then if you have a shop, you have to pay monthly for whatever level of store you've got. And then what is this final value fee? It's It changes sometimes. I don't know what the final value fees are right now. Sorry. Um, but it's cheaper for me on Etsy. I love Etsy. But I list on both. I do. Okay, I've got random stuff here that I'm trying to pull out. This. Oh, I oh. Did I get these at a garage? I think I got these at a garage. Oh, that's right. That's right. I did. The, I get these at a garage sale, and the lady was trying. She had a ton of stuff like this, and she was trying to get me to buy all of it for like a hundred bucks. I was like, I don't want all of it for a hundred bucks. Um. So these are all just. I mean, some of these look like what are these. That's not carnelian. That's carnelian. So these are like carnelian chips, and then these ones. They want to look like amber, but they're not. What are they? They are yellow. Citrine? I don't know. Anyway, these ones I'll probably sell. Hmm. I mean, because whether they're just necklaces or whether they're for crafting to make jewelry, um, that's I'll sell those. I will sell those. Okay, next. Again, I got this from this lady. This is, let's see if you can see it. It looks like a little globe, kind of lapis bead. Oh dear. Hang on. Lot you think lot them up? Maybe hey, yeah, I could sell them in a lot. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, hello, thank you. Okay, next. Here we go. So I'm looking at this bead and it's cool. I mean it's like this little lapis and it's marked lapis earth. Um but my issue is like the bottom's like kind of chipped up, like so. So, I don't know. I might put this in the craft lot. I I know it says it's lapis, but is it? That's the thing. I don't know. I'll hang on to it and take a peek. This will go in my this will go in my maybe pile. How about that? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. I don't know. Cuz it's got that like chip chipped bottom. So, I don't know if people would not Oh, like all the colors together. That's a good idea. All right. So, this is something else that's in there. Even though it's not jewelry, it's a compact, which I love vintage compacts. This one's still got stuff in it. Um, so this I will for sure sell by itself because there are other people who just love them. And it's in pretty good shape. I'm trying to remember if I spent actually spent $9 on it or if it was on sale at an estate sale. Marty girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It was likely on a key. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. So do you think it would go in a like a craft lot? Put it in the craft lot, maybe? Okay, I'm going to put it in the craft lot for now. Craft lot. Okay, next we have some little earrings. Let me take them out. Um, No, Etsy's actually pretty cheap. It's 20 cents a listing, unless it's changed to 25. I think they were, it may have changed to 25. 20 or 25 cents a listing. And then the final value fee is like 3.5%. Hi, Frankie. Um, so I, I like that. And then I, there's a link down below if you want to get 40 free listings to get started. Um, so there are these little earrings, which are super cute. Hang on. Let me get my magnet out. And I don't know. Okay, they're not magnetic. I don't really see a mark on them. 
That's the post. The post is gold too. Mm -hmm. You'd think I would know. Wait, I don't have a loop handy. All right, I'm putting these to the side because I'm going to need to look at them a little closer because they're not magnetic. For me, um, for me, that's like one of my, I'm going to double check these because the post is gold. They're not magnetic. There might be a mark somewhere, but my loop isn't handy. So I'm going to set these to the side to look at them a little bit closer. A little closer. Wouldn't that stink to throw if they ended up being real gold and you throw them in a lot <laughs> to get rid of them? Do they do the shipping stuff? You mean like um, send shipping supplies like e eBay does? Or, hang on. It has to be vintage. Um, vintage, a supply, or handmade for Etsy. So if I did a craft lot, let's say some of this jewelry isn't vintage, but it's like broken and people might use it for crafting, I can sell it as a craft lot, even if it's not technically vintage. So that's cool. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, they do the shipping, yeah. Mm -hmm. They, um, they, yeah, you can get shipping through them. Okay, so next is a pendant. Let me show this to you. Where this is going, this is going a lot slower, but I think I thought it'd be fun to share just to share with you guys my thought process. Okay, so there's this pendant, and if you see what I see, it's missing a stone right there. So I and the stone is not in the bag. So this is going to go in a craft lot, even though it's super cute, it's got really pretty bead, I mean little stones in it. Craft lot. Um I've got a spoon. That's going in the craft lot. Craft lot. Okay, next up, I've got an M. It is a brooch. Hmm. I know it will sell. It's in pretty good shape. Hang on, there's some sticky on it. So this will probably go into like one of my mystery lots. I'll put this into my mystery box. Mystery box. Okay, and my, I have a spoon here. Craft lot <laughs> for whoever. Any, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could do handmade. Oh, look what I just found. A magnifying paperweight. Yay. Okay. Let's, let's take a look at those earrings again. Um, You would take the stones out for the last one. Oh, cute. Yeah. See, I'm just not crafty like that. I just know I wouldn't do it. Okay. Let me look at these earrings real quick just to see if I see. Oh, this is not very... Not very magnifying. I need more magnification. You know what's funny? My husband went to get his eyes checked today, and he, the doctor, the optometrist, told him he has to have bifocals. <laughs> and he's younger than me. <laughs> How do you decide what to sell yourself and what to put in the mystery box? Okay, so things that I am going to sell myself would be uh, like things that I really like personally or something that I think is going to um, fetch a good profit. Um, things that will go into the mystery box are things that I think will probably still sell, but I know they're not, they wouldn't fall high on my priority of, um, of listing it really soon. So I wouldn't put something in the mystery, uh, mystery box that I couldn't sell, right? And like if something was gross or missing stones or things like that, I wouldn't put it in the mystery box. That would go in my craft, my my craft lot box. Hope that makes sense. So it's stuff that you know I picked it up thinking I'm gonna sell this, and then I'm like I'm never gonna get around to this because that's kind of what I'm doing. I have got so much stuff. I just there's no way I'll ever list it all. But am I gonna stop shopping? No. Um, and if I see like really cool earrings or a Margaret or an M pin, Margaret pin, an M pin for a nickel or a dime, am I going to not pick it up? I'm going to pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that's true. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I, I laugh because he's younger than me. So I'm going to take a look at these a little closer because this magnifier just didn't do the trick for me. All right, here we go. Another compact. So it's this is something I'll sell. Okay, here's something that's a... Okay. So I've got these, and I picked these up at a garage sale. 
or an estate sale, one or the other. And I really like these. So even though there's a few little flaws in it, I'm going to, I'm going to sell these. I've sold similar ones, but I don't think as big. I don't think. Um, oh, isn't it a pretty compact? Did I go too fast? I think I may have gone fast on it. Isn't it pretty? One of the compacts I had didn't was still like new inside, hadn't been used. Well, this one's been used, but I picked up one not long ago that was still kind of new on the inside. Um, where's the best place to shop? My favorite is um, at garage sales and estate sales and then um, thrift stores. So those are my favorites. And here, the estate sales have been pretty good. I haven't been in a few weeks because it's been crazy. But I, in, when I was in Houston, I had really good luck at garage sales. And then estate sales here have been really good. Hey, Cindy, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I remember my mom wearing leaf, a leaf like this for sure. Yeah. Okay, next up, uh, this again was this, from this garage sale. I'm going to pull it out of here. Hang on. It says it's agate. So let's take a peek. I will probably sell this because I like I like things with natural stone in them I I mean I'm gonna have to look at that because it doesn't feel like agate honestly um do you know what soapstone feels like if you know what that feels like that's how it feels on the back so I'm gonna have to do a little research to I mean, it says it's agate just because it says it's something doesn't necessarily mean it is is soapstone a form of agate do you guys know I don't think so is it but yeah if you know where what soapstone feels like. It feels like like real waxy, waxy on the back. That's how it feels. All right, I'm going to set it to the side. It's going to go in my, I'm going to list it. It's still pretty, yeah, it's really nice, yeah. So, and I'm going to stick the little thing that says agate on there. And I didn't pay four bucks. It was at this garage sale. This lady was trying to get me to buy all, all the stuff, all of her beads and crafting stuff. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Um... <laughs> You sure? I don't think my sister's hips ready for a is ready for a dumpster dive yet. She's yeah, she's still having to like put the heating pad on it. It still kind of hurts, so she's uh yeah. It's been a while since we've done dumpster diving. Okay, so things like this little beads I put into craft lot. Oh wait, got another one of these. There we go. That goes in here. Okay, next. Oh yeah, this is something I bought for sure to resell, if not to keep. If not to keep, this one is not from that long ago. So this is one of those like um, there's it's called, it's a nurse watch, but there's another name for it, you know, because they wouldn't wear a wristwatch, so they have like their watch like this, so they can look at the the time, you know, like so. So there's that, and you can see it's sideways too, so she doesn't have to flip it upside down. It's like looking at it like that. Okay. So very cool, definitely vintage, possibly antique. It's got that dome. Isn't it cool? Yeah. And I did. I paid up for this. I paid 10 bucks happily for this. And it's one of those things that I, I just want to maybe keep it and just put it in my jewelry box just so I can look at it, right? So I'm going to put this in. Margaret might be just keeping that. Let's just put it in the side. Hi, Jill. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is something else that I got at somewhere I think it was just cool and I didn't know and I wanted to keep it I'm gonna throw I have a I don't know if you can see over here homeschool stuff is still getting organized this is like a box of springs and weird magnets and junk that I got at some guy's garage sale so I'm gonna throw this in there for my boys you know <laughs> like I always pick up weird gears and doodads for them to mess around with and that's over there that's for them um Keep it and get the, oh, okay, you want the nurse. <laughs> um, I'm not, if I'm not sure what kind of stone or gem something, who can I take it to to find out? Well, there are like Facebook groups. There's geology Facebook groups um, that I like to go ask. And then I ask in the group too, um, like our jewelry group, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, because a lot of times the ladies in there know. Yeah. Oh, no, Jill. <laughs> okay, so next up are these really pretty black earrings. And I'm trying to tell. I don't think they're, like, really old. I'm looking at the backs to see. I mean, you can kind of see. I'm just, I'm looking at them. I'm not showing you. It's just not very helpful. 
So that's the back, right? That's the front. They're really pretty. They kind of have that jet or French jet look to them. I, I'm leaning towards listing them, but I think I'm going to put them in my mystery. That'll go in my mystery lot box because I have so much stuff to list. Um, and I can always change my mind, right? <laughs> All right, next up is this one. Oh, I'm going to list this. Okay, first of all, I love bracelets with safety chains. Second of all, it is silver. Uh, and it's got this charm, Mexico on one side. It looks like the a Aztec calendar or Mayan calendar. I always get it mixed up. Goth lot box. Yeah, for sure. I could totally do that. We just watched a documentary about goths yesterday and the history of goth. Not necessarily the goths now, but how it started with the... <laughs> With the invaders, the goths, the Visigoths, and all that. All the things you get to learn as a homeschool mom. And how it trickled down and finally became what goths are today. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is something I will sell. Silver bracelet with a Mexico charm. I don't know what I will sell it for. You know, I, I love the safety chain. I love the box closure. And then I've got to figure out what kind of chain that is, because that is a new one for me. And there may be somebody who's like, that is my favorite kind of chain, right? Like there's box chains and snake chains, and there's one called a Byzantine, which I really like. Hi, Joe. We're looking at stuff. We're looking at jewelry, and we're trying to sort it out. All right, so that is definitely a for sale. And then later what I do is I'll come back through my tub, and I have a spot in my jewel, you know, over here where I put all my things that are silver and gold. I have a place where I put earrings. I have, um, you know, so I kind of sort it that way too. And then I have like an earring one and all that. Um, <laughs> oh, are you feeling bad, Cindy? Oh, no. Um, bu bu bum. Oh, yeah, go hit the thumbs up, everybody. I don't know how many people, how many we got over there, how many. Oh, yay, thanks. <laughs> okay, next up. All right, so, oh, brother. Okay, we I remember getting this and, and us having a big discussion about what is this and thinking it's a key maybe to an old blanket chest or... So this is a question mark for me as far as what I'm going to do with it. Do I want to try to sell it? I wouldn't put it in a mystery box. I... Don't think I'd put it in a craft lot either. So it's like, if I don't sell it, it'll end up over there with the stuff for my kids. I don't know. I think we decided it was like for an old, like, you know, those old, like, wooden chests that they would keep, like, blankets in? I think, well, but I don't know if that's for sure. I remember us talking about it in one of the videos. I can't remember. I'm going to put this in my for sale box for now. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with it for right now because <laughs> it's cool. I think I need to find out more about it. Okay, so this is another one with the beads that, like um, Debbie said, lot up like like all of this stuff. So maybe I'll lot those all together for crafts. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. This okay here. I need a separate pile. I had a separate pile somewhere. What did I do with it? So if you know or not know, my sister makes um, sun catchers and wind chimes and stuff like that. Oh, that's a good idea, Rihanna. I'm going to ask in an antique identifying group. Oh, cool, Joe. Um, so my uh, sister uses glass beads like this for her sun catchers. And I don't have one handy with me. It's in the other room. But anyway, I'm going to set this to the side. So whenever I find glass beads loose like this, I set it to the side for my sister. My sister. I know I had a pile going for her. And now I'm like, what did I do with that pile? Ah, I always have a pile. And I started finally just getting a tub because I always collect things for her. And so every time I go see her, I have like a tub full of stuff. Ah, look what I got at the garage sale for you. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever. Okay, um, these ones, are this, okay, these are really cute earrings, silver tone, they look like earrings I would wear, and they are marked, they are marked something 925 China, 
and so I'm feeling on them. Um, they're not magnetic. No, they're not magnetic. I always, okay, sorry if you're from China, but I always want to like double check things because sometimes things are not what they seem. So I'm going to put this in my, I'll sell it, but I'll, I'll definitely test it. And which is, you know, the responsible thing to do anyway, if you've got something that's marked silver or gold to double check, test them and make sure that they are what they are marked because stamps are cheap, right? And people try to pull the wool over your eyes with a steep, steep champ, a cheap stamp. <laughs> so I will set those to the side to test. Because if they're silver, then hey, there we go. All right, so next up, I've got these earrings. And I'm going to put these in a craft lot. Because, because, yeah. Oh, okay, I guess I should give me more to reason for that. So the finish on them is kind of rubbed off. They look kind of yucky. They don't look like they're in amazing shape. You know, I don't even think the gold matches on them. Nope. All right, so that, that'll go in my craft lot. Oh, thanks. Hi, Ruby. How's it going? Okay, okay, we've got a, I think this is missing a something. Okay, I'm gonna hang on one second. Uh, oh, I remember this now. We did this from a jewelry jar. Cause here are, here's the silver ones, like those gold ones. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. These ones, you took a running start and then smashed the like button. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, this is, what is up with that? There's something on there. That's weird. Okay, so these again, these will go into a craft lot. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. Um, where do you get the different testing kits? Oh, oh, I got mine off of Amazon. I think I have a link for it down below. I got mine from Amazon. Um, and the one I got had like the magnet and it had a scale and it had the acids. Make sure you wear gloves um, because it will burn and hurt you. It will hurt you. Okay, next I have this. Hang on, there's something stuck on there. This bracelet, which has got a silver buckle on leather and it is in really, really, really good shape. How deep? Uh, I don't know. As far as pl the plated stuff, I'm not exactly sure. So there's that. So that is something I will sell. The magnet test. Okay, the magnet test is not foolproof. I know there are people out there that like to like crucify me because I talk about the magnet. But whatever. This is what I do. <laughs> so let's say I've got something, a piece of jewelry, and I want to decide if I'm going to test it for silver or gold. One of the first steps um, is I will check it with a magnet. Now, <laughs> I have been misquoted, and, have, and it is not just because it is not magnetic doesn't mean that it is for sure silver or gold. It just means that that's the next step for me that I will. You know, if I have a, an inkling that it might be silver or gold, that at that point, I'll take it to the next level and test it with my acid test. So <laughs> sorry for the bitterness there. Um, but oof, boy. Okay, so this is not something I think is silver or gold. But um, for example, those silver earrings, they're marked 925. They're not magnetic. So that would tell me next, okay, now go test them with your testing kit. You got your beaded. Oh, good, Joe. I'm so glad. Thank you. Um, yeah, I haven't done a whole lot with the plated stuff. Yeah. Okay. So since we were just holding that up, now this is something that is broken. It's really cute and all that, but it's broken. So it's going in the craft lot. Um, yeah, you would have to file off a lot. Now, again, I do know that there, there are, you know, because gold or silver is like 925, it means it's 92.5% or something like that. It's not 100% pure silver. So the other part of the metal could be, could be made from something magnetic. I have never, I have never found that. There are people that, that have found that. I just never have. So from my experience, that just kind of rules it out for me. And again, I have seen people sell lots on eBay where, 
they put in the listing like test positive for silver fails magnet test you know so it's out there it's just i've never found it so anyway i've never anyway okay <sighs> okay so next up this is a big conundrum for me because i have a few of these right here belts right um and i have a few belts so and i think this one this is this is that's not Kendra Scott, is it? I always get them mixed up because Kendra Scott and then another one, is it Tori Birch? They have a similar kind of like circly geometric logo. Or is that just somebody pretending? I don't know. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so I I can't decide if I want to go ahead and sell belts, right? So what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm not doing a, um, that was a mystery here right there. I'm not, do, okay, tell me your advice. Here, I need your advice. I almost did it during our last jewelry auction. It's not jewelry, they're belts, right? But I was thinking of lighting up the, the like chain belts that I've got at the jewelry auction. Because they're really cool. And I think somebody would like them or want to sell them. It just hasn't, like here's another one. I have them all right here. So... I'm trying to decide. I mean, they're all in good shape. This one's really cute. So maybe I'll do that because they're like really cute. I just have had, I've, I'm collecting them apparently, but I just have never listing them. I know this one will sell. I know you would. I think, I think the reason is I don't have anything to show them on. You know, this one's really cool too. Probably if I had a smaller frame, I might wear this one. This one, it would be good for like Renaissance Festival or something like that. A lot of them up for auction, yeah. See, they're really cool. That one's pretty cool. I don't think that would go, no, that's not going around me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they're really nice belts. So, hey, Kaylee. Yeah, so da. Of course, it's going on the head, right? It wraps around my head. Maybe it's. Big waist, big head, right? <laughs> and then there's one other one. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll set them aside. And um, this one's a Calvin Klein one. Because they're really nice. I believe chain belts are really more jewelry than belts. They're not useful as belts. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this is true. That's true. The belt, right? That, <laughs> this is particularly nice right here. This is like the puppy dog ear. Look, anyway, okay, so maybe I'll do that. They're really cool. I just know I'm never gonna get around to listing them because I don't have a way to display them that I think I would like, you know? Okay, I'll do that. Now, I need a third pile, a fourth pile, that is. <laughs> auction, yeah, okay, that'll go into this spread. Save it for the jewelry auction pile. Because then somebody will really, I got rid of my, my, my mannequins and everything because I totally just said, I'm not selling clothes anymore unless it's awesome. And then I still don't sell it. I don't know. Um, oh, thanks, Joe. Um, it's Ann Taylor. Okay, okay. Thank you, Cindy. I can never keep all this, keep them all straight. There's too many marks for one girl to remember. Okay. Um, this one I'll hang on to because I'll find like a really big pendant to put on there um, for for that. Okay, here is another. Okay, let's talk about it. I think it's cool, personally. I think it would go well like in a boho kind of lot because it's got some wear to it. Oh, see, this is where I talk myself into it. Oh, do they? Okay, cool, Tracy. Good. Oh, nice. Okay. Exotic Bentley's. <laughs> um, hang on. I'm missing something. Let me look back up real quick. You would try. Okay. All right. So my thing is like somebody who's into this style might like that it looks worn, that it looks, you know, they're not going to want something that it's new looking, right? So they might like this looking this way. And part of me is like, ugh, it looks like all worn and I don't know. This is a, I don't know. 
I'm going to put it in my, because here's the thing. Would I send this to somebody in my mystery lots? No, I wouldn't. Because then they would say, why did you send me this like gross used, you know, worn looking thing? So, well, okay, yeah. Oil it, lemon oil. Okay, okay. So I'm going to put this in, I'm going to sell it pile. Because I'm not going to send it in a mystery lot. Right, that's its mystique. Okay, next up. I've got this gray bracelet, which I think is cool, but would anybody else think it's cool? It's like asymmetrical on one side. Like if you got this in a mystery lot, would you be everything is used? I know. Yeah, that's true. Um, boho lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to put this in my mystery lot. Okay, mystery lot. There it goes. I'm making a decision. Okay, this is what I'm going to sell. This is Vote Nixon Lodge. Experience counts. So I, I remember looking this up, and I can't remember what it sells for. But it's, you know, a political button. Yep. All right, so that'll go in my I'm going to sell it pile. This one, this is so cool. It's heavy as all get out to you. This is one that I got, I think, on an estate sale. But... Here it is. It's got all this like Celtic scroll work and like so, and it is marked in there. <laughs> I can't read it. Um, my thing is one, it's super, super heavy. Okay, there we go. I spread it out a little bit. It's like really thick and heavy. It's very cool. And if it weren't uh, as heavy as it is, I'd probably keep it because it's really cool. Now can I get it off? <laughs> there you go. So this is the one I'll for sure sell. I think this will sell really well. I may need to keep it out because we're working on the Celts right now. <laughs> Lenticular, keyword for the, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I can't think of what the other word I was going to use for it was. I can't think of it. What's it called? Oh, my gosh. It's not exactly a holograph. Hologram, it's... Yeah. Okay. So next up is this one. I that oh, this is why I get torn. I like it a lot. It is. It does have you know show signs of wear and kind of like messed up. So it might. Oh gosh, three D holographic. Yeah. Let's see. Would that clean off? Here I am. What would you do with this one? I am leaning towards putting it in a craft lot. A crazy I like you. Because you can see it's kind of got some rust on it there. Oh, thanks, Kaylee. Um, these are those ones that I got at the estate sale for 50 cents. It turned out to be 18 karat gold. Isn't that crazy? Um, they, they were marked with, the markings were Arabic, I think is what it was on them. They were marked with, with, Another language, and in, in, in that language, it was 18K. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it's brass. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this in, like, a jewelry craft lot. Would you, how would you feel if you got this in a mystery lot with it not being, you know, with it having kind of like this kind of rusty stuff on it? I don't think I could do it. Okay. Um, the belt. The belt with the four A's, Salvatore Fer Ferragamo. Look up the, huh, okay. I'll have to double, I'll look up, I'll look, I'll double check those. I'll double check. Okay, see, I can't wear it. <laughs> it's too heavy. I'm trying to wear it, and it's heavy. So I'm putting it back over there. Okay. If it's brass, clean it with barkeeps for and shine it up and sell it. Okay, well, that's an idea, but will I do that? I tell you what, I'm going to leave it in the, in the lot for now, and we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Okay, so this is a bracelet that it looks like it's branches, like woven all around. And I remember this one having a mark when we got it. But now I don't see it. Maybe I'm imagining things or remembering things incorrectly. But this is one that I will try to sell just because it's got that natural, like branchy looking element to it. Um, this as well. Highland games are coming up. This is true. The the Highland Games in Houston, I know Highland Games in Kerrville are coming up too. Now, can I get it listed before then? That's the question. 
<laughs> so this is another one that's kind of got that Celtic look, that like torque, but it's a bracelet. So it's a little cuff bracelet. It is all twisty, twisty, pretty cool. So this is one that I will for sure sell. Uh, bye, Kathy. Nice to see you. So the truth. Oh, yeah. And hey, Joe, if you're interested, just send me an email and I'll just do like a PayPal thing for you. I'll set it to the side because then you don't have to wait because it could be a while. I'm just in a sorting phase right now. Okay, next. These are, um, I don't have my phone handy, do I? I don't know if you can see that, but they're more purpley color. It looks brown on the camera. Let me get them up close. But they look like garnet chips. Like They're all purpley. It looks red to me when I look at it through the camera, though. You can listen to everything you <laughs> oh, Yes. <laughs> all right. So oh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. But they, they look like um, garnet chips. You see? So this is something that I will list. Yeah. Very pretty. No, I don't. Where's my phone? Can you see it? Can you tell? <laughs> okay. Hang on. Uh, I'm trying to get it where you can see without blinding you. No, you can kind of see. There we go. Okay. All right. Do I have any merch friends in the house? Or are we all jewelry people? <laughs> Hang on. I got. This is rude. This is so rude of me. Hang on. I'm trying to see. Nope, they're not answering me correctly. What? Okay. I'm trying to get the band back together. And what do they send me? Pictures of roaches playing instruments. Gross. Okay. Okay. You think craft cloth for that? Yeah. Uh, well, garnet beads will sell. So I'm going to do that. Garnet, um, garnet beads for that. Okay. Next up, we've got this plastic bracelet. It's got butterflies. It's cute. It's totally vintage. But it does have quite a bit of wear. So that's going into the craft lot. Oh yeah, small small shop. Yeah, I'm trying to get the guy. I'm 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 trying to woo the guys back into more stock. <laughs> hey Heather, how's it going? Okay, so these two could go together, right? I'm gonna probably put those two together, or would you do them separately? I've decided to sell them and not lock them up. Uh, yeah, get to a stage in life where you'll do anything but list. Yeah, I made a sale. I did. I made a sale yesterday. So. <laughs> Okay, I've got this plastic necklace. This is going to go in my craft lot. And because I don't think. Oh, together, together. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, next I got this brooch. And so I'm going to. This will sell by itself for sure. So this is coming. Compare those two together. So, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so this one I will sell. Over here. Okay, this one's pretty cool. It's just like a plain black bracelet. Really simple. Um, but different, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like just, I don't know. I think it's different. So I think I'm going to try to sell that. Cause I, I don't know if it's the thickness of it. I'm not exactly sure why I like it so much. But it's really simple, minimalist black bracelet. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it so pretty? Hang on. I got something coming. Hey, what's up? Nothing? Nothing's up? Are y'all done playing? Really? Well, I didn't, I forgot to set the timer, so I just thought it was time. Okay. Okay, you can play a little bit more. No. You do? Okay. Can we tell me later? Okay. Love you. Okay. Art Deco. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Looks like a plumbing part. <laughs> That's an idea. Hmm. I'm going to raid the plumbing supply store. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi. Okay, so next up is this kind of gold tone bracelet. Where'd my magnet go again? Just to, yeah. Well, remind you of electrical tape. This is true. I'll use that as a keyword. Okay, so here's another example. This is not magnetic, but I don't think it's gold at all. Um, so, will I list this by itself? Hmm. Probably no. So, I'm, I'll probably put this in my mystery, my mystery lock box. Tell me what you think about this. I almost did this today instead of this video. 
I almost did, um, right, Dan? It could be like mod, right? Also that black one, that one, kind of a mod look to it. Um, what was I just saying? Okay, I was I was going to do another video today. I went back and forth between this or doing this other video um, where I talk about how I do the, re like I pick an item and show the research for how I'm going to list it and like how I, I don't know, through the whole process on Etsy and eBay. So I've done that before, but it's been a while. So I was thinking about that today, about doing that. So maybe I will. Uh oh, what did Cindy say? Oh, I missed something. Uh, yeah, I really missed it. Okay. Um, so this bracelet, you like, okay, cool, cool, Kimberly. Okay, then I'll do that. Um, it's got a little wear on the inside. So this is going into a craft lot. I would not send this in a mystery lot just because of the wear and stuff. I, when I do my mystery lots, I want to make sure. I feel like I'm talking about them a lot. No pressure or anything, but just, you know. Okay, this one. Oh, gosh. I really like it, but my problem with it is, you see how that's got that yellowy right there? And then it's not over here. I wonder if that would clean off very easily. What is that? Why is it like that? What do you think? This is one that I may try to clean because I really like it and I think it'll sell well. So if this doesn't, um, if this doesn't clean up, I'll probably put it in like a craft lot because if I, if it came to me like this from a mystery lot, I might be like, what? It's all like, what am I going to do with that? What's all this? Or I wonder if it was like gold plated at one point and then it rubbed off, but I don't know. To, oh wait, there's a metal paint you could use. Okay, use a toothbrush. Okay, I'll get my husband's toothbrush and we'll take care of that. Okay, I'm gonna put it in this to sell pile and then I'll try to sell it. I mean, I'll try to clean it. <laughs> um, he'll never know. <laughs> yes, he will. No, he won't. <sighs> okay, next up, this is really cute, okay? It's got these kind of like sherbet colored beads and then also these look like little like beehives. If I thought my sister would wear it, I would give it to her, but I doubt she would. Ah! So, now the question is, would I sell it? There's a little bead on the end. Would I? And I think the colors are good, too. Like, I think it's not a color you see a lot. Will I sell this? Or will I <laughs> put it in the mystery lot? I think I think I'm gonna put this in the mystery lot box. I think it's good. I think I could sell it, but I think I'm not going to. Okay. So, husband, <laughs> yeah. He'll never know. Oh, look what I found! No way! Look what I found, you guys! It's my long lost magnet. Oh, wow! We found it together. You brought me good luck. There it is. There's my magnet. <laughs> I'm not joking. I lose it. I, it'll be probably lost by the time this video is over. Um, okay, that's a good idea. Cindy says, I've been using an 18 karat gold leafing pen to fix metalware like that. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, so this necklace that actually was connected to my magnet. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I love it, but I, I know I personally probably would never wear it. I I like mixed metal, but I don't I don't think it looks good on me. I don't think so. Okay. Put that put your magnet on the thing. Um oh have you oh cool cool yeah this one has Oh, wait, here we go. It's that BB one again that we always say is Bill Blast, but it's not. What's it called, Cindy? Oh, my gosh. We get this one a lot. And I, every time, like, we had to make a little post about it in the group because I thought it was Bill Blast, and then it turns out it wasn't. It was something else. What is it? Who else is in the group that we know? Debbie, do you remember? Um, we've talked about this one before. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this is one that I will for sure sell. Um, it's really pretty, right? So there's that woven coolness. 
woven coolness that I would not wear. Okay, then, uh-oh. So, next up is this bracelet. It's kind of this flat chain bracelet. I cannot remember what it was called. Have you ever seen it too? Oh boy, we've had it in the group. And I, I, yeah, we've had discussions about it. Okay, so this one is magnetic. Um, I mean, it's cool and everything. I'll probably put this in a mystery lot box. Are you going to look in the group? Somebody's going to look. Watch. Somebody go look. I know we have a, a post about that, that one. Okay, so that's going in mystery lots mm, over there. Um, okay, this one, we've got an Angry Birds watch. So that's going in my craft lot over there. And you know what? I've got to say, this bracelet will probably go into the craft lot, but I just sold a gold plastic bracelet. Not even kidding. Let me pull it up. I just sold it for how much? Where did it go? And I, when I was packing it up, I was like, I listed this? Really? Um, uh oh, there's the husband calling. He probably saw about the toothbrush. <laughs> Oh wait, completed. That's what I'm looking at. I sold a plastic gold bracelet. Come on, load page. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. I'm gonna open it up so it doesn't show the person. And they paid. Hang on. They paid $21.99. I'm trying to open it. Not renew. I don't want to renew it. Oh, come on, man. They changed this. No, I don't want to renew this listing. Okay, let me come over here. They pay $21.99 for this bracelet. Look at me. Why am I so surprised? Hang on. Here it is. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to screen share so you can see. <laughs> so, but this is one of those things. Like, if you don't ask for a lot, you don't get a lot, right? You can ask crazy prices and eventually it'll sell, right? So this is the bracelet that I sold for $21.99 that just sold the other day. Just shipped it out. And it's it's gold tone, but it's it's plastic. It's a stretchy plastic like this. You can't see what I'm showing you because I'm screen sharing, you know. But yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like you just never know, <laughs> right? Uh oh, did something happen? What's the, I don't know what the uh, I don't know that. <laughs> Oh, Dana Buckman. Okay, for that necklace. I was like, who is Dana Buckman? Who are you talking about? Oh, the mark. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And now I'm like, do I list this? It did take a while to sell. Did I have, do I have a listing or like when I put it in? Let's see if I have a note. Because I've been putting, I've been starting to put inventory notes for when I, I um, put it on there. But no, I didn't. Um, I'm looking. Maybe a Wonder Woman costume. Yeah, this is true. So that changes my perspective of this gold bracelet, this gold plastic bracelet. Um, but I'm going to put this in a craft lot just because. <laughs> Will lightning strike twice? <laughs> List it. What do you got to lose? That's true. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I And, you know, I always say, like, you can't get a high price if you don't list it at a high price. But I just sold a bracelet yesterday for like 75 bucks. And I even looked at it was like, really? I listed it for that much? But I did. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, it does kind of look like futuristic. Ooh, maybe I list it. Okay, I'm listing it. Man, good thing you guys were here. Okay, so here's this bracelet. Um... Start over. Okay, Pamela, if it doesn't sell in a year, then lot it. Okay. Um, so this bracelet I will put in the craft lot. It's really cool. It's got this really big, cool, like, sherberty salmon color. What color do you call that? I mean, it's orange, but let's get fancy. It's an Aldo. But as you can see, the, the gold tone is really worn off in a lot of spots. So I would not put this in a mystery lot because of that. I still think it would probably sell. I think somebody would just be like, like with the ring. Oh, nobody's going to see that side. They're going to like, we're going to see this side, right? Coral, there we go. So I'm going to put this in a 
a craft lot. So if somebody else wants to do it, they can. All right, next up. Um, oh yeah, for sure. Do you, oh, isn't it pretty? I mean, it's really pretty, which is why I bought it. And then I think maybe later I noticed that. No, or maybe it was in a, maybe it was in a jewelry jar. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so next up I've got this necklace. Looks like so. I think this will sell. It's in pretty good shape. It looks like it might have used to have something hanging from it. There's like two little looped things there. Or, no, I don't know. Okay, so with this one, because it's in good shape, <clears throat> I'm going to put this in my mystery. My mystery box. My mystery lot box. Um, even that's, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you're going to list it for costumes or cosplay, yeah. BR. No, it was a BB on this one. We've had this. We've had this come up a bunch. And it's D Dana Buckman. <laughs> Thanks for looking because it's a D and a B. Uh, yeah, because we've talked about that one a bunch before. Okay, next. Next up, this. Oh, gosh. You can just go right to you know where. We're going to just get this out of the way now. I hate you. Yes, I'm talking to you. This, I mean, this stuff, this right here, these these wire things. It's like fishing wire stuff. I hate it with a passion. I do. Look at this tangled on here. You can go right into the craft lot. But I want this. So you need to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Don't hold me back anymore. This is, oh my gosh. Deep breaths. You're going to, this is like fishing wire is going to put me on blood pressure medicine. <laughs> I tell you what. Look, look. Just catching on everything. So it looks like this wooden necklace is being, it's broken, first of all. I think it would sell if it was fixed and everything because it's, you know, there are people that like wooden stuff, but I'm not. I'm going to put it all in the craft lot because I'm sick of it. Sick of that. Okay, next up, we've got this cool shell. It's going on the head. Atreyu, right? We have to Atreyu it for a second. I, hang on. I'm trying to see what the mark says. Let's see if I can look at it in here. Can you read it? Oh, Leah, does it say Leah Sophia? I think that's what it says. I'm trying to hold it still. Leah, is it Leah Sophia? This one's okay. I mean, oh, well, it was okay. <laughs> uh, is this one going into the craft lot? So I was about to put it in the the mystery lot, but I'm glad that happened because <laughs> this is going into the craft lot now. Bye, craft lot. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 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 I just got this one recently, too. Never-ending story. So, and we never did figure out who these guys were. This is a pin that I got. Oh, hi. <laughs> thanks, Sharon. Thanks for coming. Maybe you know my old roommate. Probably not. I'm joking. Um, I had one of my besties. She was actually a bridesmaid in my wedding. It's from New Zealand. My first wedding, that is. <laughs> Um, so yeah, these fellas, we got, I got this at an estate sale. I couldn't pass it up, but I still have not been able to find out who these guys are. I posted it in a couple groups and, um, you want that pin too? Okay. I'll set it to the side. Um, super cool. But I, and, and a lot of people were like, it's Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. And I was looking it up like, it doesn't look like them. I don't know who they are. So it's a mystery right there. Okay, here's another. Oh, yeah, I got this at the garage. That same, this was an estate sale as the other one. Oh, I love it. It's that Art Nouveau look, which I love. So this is this necklace. Isn't she beautiful? She's gorgeous. I just don't wear stuff like this, right? It's so long and big. I mean, it's cool and everything. I mean, it, it hangs really cool. You can see, like so, it hangs like that. How can I get it back off? This is the question, right? Oh gosh, this was a mistake. <laughs> oh, I guess I could have used the clasp. 
but why do that when it's ah, it's easier to be hard yeah do it the hard way okay so oh i remember us talking about her wings in her helmet and that meant she was i can't remember helen not helen not diana but a greek goddess and somebody will help me remember this one i will sell because she's amazing and she, I'll, I'll list her for a lot because she's really cool and very unique and i have to find a really cool way to take pictures of it because it's really awesome so i i mean i haven't researched it yet but i'm i'm thinking i mean 80 plus is what i'm going for even though i mean i know it's not silver it's not silver but i still think that because of the style because of everything unless you know unless there's some other circumstance that i don't know about i'll probably list it for in the 80 plus dollar range little fairy yes <laughs> hang on no, my hair's being weird oh thanks joe okay okay next what have we next how are we doing on time i don't know how long i've been here this is fun though thanks for sorting stuff out with me has it really been that long i guess they have been done with their video game time i was surprised oh it's five that's probably what my husband was calling it's after five o'clock so he's probably on his way home uh-oh all the cats away so let's do a couple more oh look another pin all right so this one it's an enamel it's cool and i know these flower pins can do well oh okay i'll sell it i'll sell it hey nick oh my gosh how are you i was really like having daydreams about being at the hitch and meetup and i was like wouldn't it have been funny if i could have like hopped a plane over there and just come and like surprised everybody if i had all the money in the world <laughs> no i and in my brain i was daydreaming logistics but yeah chippy ones don't do great oh is it chippy i'll have to double check it yeah um i'm gonna have to do this but i'll put it on velvet oh thank you I'll have to do this again because this has been really one. It gets me getting my work done. <laughs> I'm sorting my stuff out. Okay, so these are pretty cool. They're clip on. I don't see a maker's mark. I think they'll sell. Oh, I wish I could have been there. Yeah, and I could I could tell like in my brain in my daydreams. I'm like my cousin is not gonna let my cousin lives you know in not far. And I'm like, he would not let me go meet a bunch of people off the internet by myself. So I know I'd be showing up with Andrew. And uh, <laughs> so, but I was trying to think like, how do I explain to them? Because I'm sure my aunt and my cousin would make me stay with them. Um, how do I explain? I'm here to meet people I've never met from the internet. <laughs> but yeah, this is the daydreams I was having. If I was able to come. <laughs> um, Oh yeah, just sell it all and I can go. Okay, so these are really nice. I'm gonna put these in my mystery lot box though. Cause I like, I think they'd be good in a mystery lot. Do you sell craft lots by the pound? I'm trying to think, I mean, I think I, I put how much it weighed, but I didn't necessarily sell by the pound on the ones that I've done. But that's an idea. I could do craft lots by the pound. Okay, let me do a couple more, then I'll stop. Is this really fun and productive? But maybe next time I'll do a video where I'm showing how I'm listing something and go through the process. Because that'll be productive too. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to find something cool. I'm just dig, I'll just grab my just grab something. Okay, let's see. What's in this one? The vin oh, they look like vintage Gloria Vanderbilt. I'll double check them. Because she had like a swan, right? Okay. Oh, this is one of the oh, this can go with my belt. This can go with my belt. This is like a belly dancer belt thing. With a free string don't ask where the string came from you probably don't want to know and it's pretty dingy looking i'll just leave that <laughs> i'll just leave that there i have to wash my hands anyway i guess i could take it off okay this is going to go with my belts because i'm going to save that for a belt lot did i say i was doing one more or did i get two more how many more okay he's not okay you want, oh, you want the, okay, I'll set it to the side. Okay, the belt, this one, like that? Okay, I'll put it right here. Okay, then this is, it was from an earring, I'm guessing. So it's going into a craft lot. 
And I guess I'm going to call it there for now. And I'll save some more for later. But this was really good fun. Tell me if you enjoyed this and the um, the thought process behind everything. And then a few, you know, I got to share a few things about how I sold a high. There's an, an invasion. Yes? Nothing. Nothing? I'm going to go outside. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay. <laughs> I was being invaded. Um, uh oh. Okay. Um, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this because we can totally do this again and I can talk about my process for um, sorting out what's going into a craft lot, what's going into a mystery lot, what's going into I'm going to sell this, and, and kind of my thought process behind everything. Good. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was good for me too. Good. Um, so, yeah, come hang out again, and I will – Talk to you later. And if you guys are interested, or if you do merch stuff, I'm I'm trying to get I'm trying to get the gang back together. We'll see. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, Heather. Bye.